lovelies, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Estonia. So if you missed my previous Estonian tasting, I shall put the link down below and you can see it there. <laughs> so this package came to me from Miss K. Miss K, thank you so much for sending me yet another taste of Estonia. Miss K sent me my first tasting, so I'm excited to have another bite. So this time Miss K included things that are not just sweets, but some other typical Estonian treats. And for those of you that don't know where Estonia is located, it's in the northern region of Europe. And if you like these kinds of international tasting videos, be sure to subscribe for more tasting. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna taste is a beverage, and it is this. And Estonian friends, my apologies for my poor pronunciation. Google Translate does not have a sound file for any of the translations, so I'm just kind of winging it. This is made by the company Arkta, and this is called Kali. She says many Estonians consider this kind of like a Estonian Coca-Cola, and she says make sure it's cold before consuming. So I've had this shilling in my fridge, and let's give it a taste. It smells kind of caramelly. All right, here it is, and doesn't look too fizzy. I wonder if it lost its fizz on the way. How do you say cheers in Estonian? Google Translate. Tervisex. Hmm. It reminds a little bit of a drink that I had in Serbia. I called it kabak, but I think it's called kvass. <laughs> and it has a kind of almost bread-like flavor to it. This is slightly tangy. There's no fizz to it at all. And very lightly sweetened. And it's very interesting. It tastes like a little bit like a fermented drink. It tastes a little bit bready and caramel, but yeah, not bad. Next, let's try a tinned product, this. And this is called Sprats, Miss Kay tells me. And this is a tin of fish. And Miss Kay also included this, and this is black bread. And this is what the Sprats are supposed to be eaten with. This is actually made by the Fatsud company, which is actually a Finnish company. But she said that it's the same kind of thing that they would have in Estonia. Let's put some of those on there. Please excuse the breadcrumbs in my butter. <laughs> Do you have breadcrumbs in your butter? I hope so. All right, let's open the sprouts. Ah, and there they are. Aren't they beautiful? They're tiny little fish. Take a little butter here. Spread it on the crisp bread. And then have a little fish on top. Oh, this is going to be great. And it looks like the fish is whole, bones and all. Love that. And I'm going to smash it a little bit so it stays on. So Estonian friends, how do you say bon appetit in Estonian? I just looked it up on Google Translate and it said Hedisu? Not sure. All right, here we go. Hedisu. Mmm. <laughs> really nice oily smoky fish. The butter gives it even more richness and then the crisp bread is perfect. It's crunchy and kind of got a nutty flavor to it it's delicious rich and dark i love it great combination of textures and flavors yum mm, really good this looks lovely and this is made by olda hansa and it's madgudsad mandolid i love this packaging and here they are look at that kind of nubbly on the outside Mm hmm on this one you can really see what's happening here there's a roasted almond on the inside on the outside it has a nice little nubbly crunchy coating on the outside that's very sweet and a little bit spiced so imagine something like honey roasted peanuts with almonds and a little bit of cinnamon and you get something like this oh and a little bit more crunch delish delish let's try this next and this is called yustu sibula lib oh yeah definitely onion Little batons of crisp bread. Cute. Mmm, yum. Wow. Those are great. As you can hear, very big crunch and oily, but deliciously so. It's like olive oil oily and has really strong seasoning on it. And they remind me a lot of a Finnish snack that I had that was very oniony and rich and kind of sour creamy, but delicious. Mm hmm They're just like a crouton. They're very heavily seasoned and have that big, big crunch. Mm hmm Let's have this cute little sweet. And this is made by the Kalev company. And this is called Dracon. And by the picture, it looks like there's some raspberry in there. Oh, it's got a little bit squished, but I think we can salvage something very cute. This is Kalev on it. Mm. 
Mmm. Very lovely milk chocolate. A nice generous layer on the bottom. And inside you've got a raspberry jelly. That's got a really nice raspberry flavor and a really delightful kind of jelly texture. They actually remind me of a German chocolate candy that I had that has some apple kind of flavored jelly in the middle. Delicious. Next, let's try these two candies. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> two little packages of candies that are made by Malasmok Astopalu, and this is sea buckthorn. Estonian friends, do tell me more. I want to know more about sea buckthorn. I only know of it used in a shampoo, uh, but I've never actually tasted it before. So let's see what that's about. All right. Whoa, they're beautiful. They almost look like coffee beans. Really dark chocolate. Nice little irregular shape to them. And yeah, let's see if I can bite one and see what's inside. Here we go. <laughs> wow, those are delicious. Wow, they have a really great texture. They're really kind of soft. It's like a jelly almost inside, like a gummy bear. Whoa. Huh. That's tricky. When you first taste it, it's a little bit tart and almost tastes citrusy. And then as you chew it up, it finishes with anise. I think there's some fennel seeds in there. Cause initially I'm like, wow, that's great. It's really tart and dark chocolatey with a little bit of bitterness to it. But then it finishes with like a licorice flavor. And you guys all know how I feel about licorice. <laughs> wow. But it's quite good actually. Miss K, well done. Black currant, as some of you may know, is difficult to find in the US. Apparently, historically, it was eradicated for some reason. I think there was some kind of blight in the US, so we don't really find black currant flavored things much at all. But I hear on continental Europe, it's completely the opposite. In the UK as well, there's black currant everything. Wow! <laughs> Those are adorable. They're similar to the seed buckhorn, that they're the same color, but these are much more spherical. And again, I love the irregularity of all of them. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh, those are great too. Again, all the treats that Miss K sent me that included chocolate and fruit really, really work. I don't usually like them, but this works really well. There's a nice tanginess to this. And the black currant flavor is there, but it's not overpowering. I still taste the bitterness and sweetness of the chocolate. And the candy inside has a really great texture, a little bit gelled, a little bit jammy. And there's something else in there too. I think it may be the black currant skins that give it a little bit of a texture and kind of slight crunch. It's great. The last thing I'm gonna try is this. And this is called Vana Tallinn. And this is an Estonian liqueur. Isn't this lovely? It's a little sake cup that I brought back from Japan. And the little bullseye on the bottom is supposed to help you determine the clarity of the sake. It smells a bit like Extract. Okay, so it's kind of syrupy. Cheers. Whoo, that's strong. And I can feel it warming my throat as it goes down. It has an anise flavor to it. Not nearly as strong as say something like ouzo or something, but it is there. And it does taste a little bit spiced, kind of like a spiced rum and a little bit syrupy. It's sweetened as well. And that's Vanatalin. Not bad, but because it has those anise flavors, not exactly my favorite either. All right, so that was my taste of Estonia. Miss K, thank you so much for sending yet another Estonian package. It was delightful. Besides witnessing the generosity of the world, my favorite part of these Emmy Eat series is learning more about a culture. And I feel like eating something like the fish and the crisp bread really gives me a glimpse into an Estonian's life. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Miss K. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Take a couple petals, place the center there, then surround the center with the remaining. And yeah, add a little bit more floral tape if you like.